Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Shortcuts. This series is designed for YouTubers and vloggers alike to learn how to speed up your video editing workflow and ultimately help you create better videos faster. So in this episode, we're diving into RGB separation and chromatic aberration. Now these terms may seem a little bit complicated, but they're not. So here's Dr. Gal to break down what RGB separation is. Your video footage is made up of three different color channels, red, green, and blue, RGB. When combined, they create all of the color in your video. So RGB separation breaks them apart, and it's a very trendy way to add style to your video. So now that you know what it is in theory, let's go ahead and put this in practice because this is an effect, RGB separation, that tons of YouTubers and video editors use all the time in music videos, on logos, and in text to really enhance and stylize their videos. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to make a concert scene look awesome fast. Here inside of my timeline, I have a stock video clip from Pond5. It's a bunch of concert attendees clapping to a show in slow motion. And on top of this, I've placed a text layer where I've typed out clap your hands. Now let's first give these clips some extra style with some RGB separation. Since I want to apply the style to both of the text in the video layer, I'm going to create an adjustment layer from the project panel and then I'm going to place it on top of both of the clips in the timeline. With adjustment layers, when you apply effects to them, every layer below them gets the effect applied to it. So that way you don't have to add an effect to each individual layer. So I'll make sure that the adjustment layer matches the duration of the clips below it just by dragging out the end of the layer to meet the two other clips below it. So now let's go to effects and let's search for Red Giant Universe Distort. And from this folder, you will find the RGB separation effect, which will split our color channels. So let's drag uni.rgb separation onto our adjustment layer. And with the adjustment layer selected in our timeline, just go up to the effect controls. And you can see that the uni.rgb separation is a quite simple effect. You're just given three different parameters to control, radius, angle, and distortion. And there's also a linear checkbox, which I will cover in just a moment. So with radius here, as I move this slider down to negative 500, you can see in the program window that the red color moves to the right and the blue channel moves left of center. And if I move the slider to the right to increase it towards 500, you will see that the red color channel moves to the left and the blue channel to the right. You will notice that as I move this, the green color channel actually stays in the center. Since I just want a subtle effect, I'm going to bring it back down to 9, and we will add further distortion with chromatic aberration in just a moment. And next, the angle lets you move the red and blue channels around their original position and center green channel. So move the angle until you get the offset in the location that you like. So then you can use the distortion here to change the amount of bending effect it brings to the footage. So as I move this, you can see some bending happening. For me, I'm personally not liking the bending for this particular shot, so I'm going to leave mine at zero. And lastly, the linear checkbox. Right now it's defaulted to be on, so when you uncheck it, you can see that it breaks away from a linear pattern along the horizontal axis. And it now moves the channel out on a diagonal. So to explain this better, let me increase the radius so you can see it better. When the box is checked, the channels all line up in a linear way, with green being at the center. And when it's unchecked, all the channels separate in a radial pattern. So it's up to you on what you prefer, but I'm going to leave mine checked and also reduce my radius back down to nine. So right now, if I turn the effects on and off, you can see we already have a pretty rad RGB distortion happening, but let's make it even more awesome. Let's go back to our Red Giant Universe distort folder and let's drag and drop the chromatic aberration onto the adjustment layer. So what the chromatic aberration does is simulate a lens distortion effect where there's a failure of a lens to focus on all of the color on the same convergence point. So this result can produce a color separation on the edges of the image and add some cool lens distortion and some blurs. 
So under effect controls here, you have even more parameters to play around with, with chromatic aberration. So we can increase the overall distortion. And as you see, I increased mine to three. Now it's far more distorted. And you can also add some lens texture. So if you toggle down from this parameter, you can choose from a variety of different textures. So if you choose frozen and then increase the amount, you will see more of a frozen texture in the program window over your video. But I'm going to keep mine at 20, so it's a bit more subtle. And lastly, to add some animation to the text, I'm going to use universe logo motion. So let's drag and drop uni.logo motion to the clip. And from the effect controls, I'm going to click on presets and I'm going to choose the zoom animation preset here by double clicking on it. And then from effect controls, I can choose an idle animation. So I'm going to choose springy. And what this does is that the time between the text animates in and out, it will apply this springy animation preset. So if I render it out and play it back, you can see that in between the in and out, the text has this pretty cool springy idle animation, which makes it a little bit more dynamic. So I actually covered three effects in this tutorial, RGB separation, chromatic aberration, and I also added some logo motion, which I covered in a previous episode of Shortcuts. You guys should check it out. We'll put a card somewhere up here so you can click and watch it. But basically just with those quick effects, you were able to stylize it and make it look awesome fast. And if you have any questions about how to use this effect, be sure to leave a comment below, or you can reach out to Red Giant on social media. In the next episode of Shortcuts, I have no idea. Let me. <laughs> In the next episode of Shortcuts, you'll be learning how to make cool and slick YouTube end screens for the end of your YouTube videos. See you guys next time. Bye.